It is our final video in the anxiety series, and so I want to invite you guys and what the Bible says about healing anxiety. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three, AKA the final part of our anxiety series where we look into what the Bible says about healing anxiety. And so before we continue on, I don't wanna waste your time. Please pause this video and go watch part one or part two, depending on where you left off. So that way this makes sense because we've taken a three-step approach on how to heal anxiety in the way that the Bible tells us. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Sila, my channel is called Kingdom Motherhood. I share my faith and my family with you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to walk alongside of me in this journey, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video that I put out. So the last part of the series for anxiety is all about faith and the faith that we need to believe that the Lord can heal it. And I know that some of you right now, some of you right now are feeling like, yeah, this is all great and true. I can bring my thoughts to the Lord. I can let him comfort me. But like, I'm never going to be rid of anxiety. It is always going to come back. And guess what, you guys? The devil is the one that's speaking that over you. The devil is speaking that over you. And I want you to just rebuke that right now. If that's the thoughts that you're having, if you think that this is something that you can never be rid of, I want you to rebuke it in Jesus' name. Now, is it something that the devil will try to bring up in your life whenever you're faced with difficult situations? Absolutely. The devil does know where he can hit us hard. And so that's why we, we are attacked in this area. That's why I'm attacked in this area. That's why you're attacked in this area. But the thing is, is we need to know what to do when we're faced with that situation. So that way, it becomes a natural occurrence that once we get anxious, once we have an anxiety attack, once we have anything in revolving anxiety, that first we speak it out, right? Part one. And then we let the Lord speak back to us, part two. And the last part of this, you guys, is having faith that the Lord can heal it, having faith. And so I want to share with you guys Jesus' response to this woman once he healed her. And so I'm not going to read the whole thing all over again because we read it twice already. But if you haven't even seen those, go back and look at it. It's a power, powerful, powerful story about how Jesus healed this woman who was in isolation. And I want to read you guys just the most beautiful verse out of this section just so that we can ponder it together and really look at what the Lord is telling us for our own life. Right after this woman experienced healing in her body from head to toe, she knew she was healed. Jesus called out in the crowd and he said, who touched me? Who touched me? And she was terrified, you guys, because she wasn't supposed to touch anybody. In society, she was isolated. And Jesus' response in this verse is just so beautiful. He says, woman, because of your faith, you are healed. Now go in peace and be free from your suffering. And I don't know who needs to receive that over themselves right now, but I'm keeping that verse up. Jesus says, woman, because of your faith, you are healed. Now go in peace and be free from your suffering. And so as we close out this anxiety series, you guys, I'm gonna be praying for you guys. I want us to have that expectation. And even if the devil comes back and hits you with anxiety, even if he tries to give you anxious situations in your life, even if you're overwhelmed, our response needs to be faith that the Lord is in control of this. The devil might bring that on, but God is our safety net. God is where we need to run to. And God has the power and the ability to free us and to heal us. And you might be asking yourself, well, if he had the power to heal and free me completely, then this would never happen again. Some people have that experience with anxiety. Some people have that where the Lord completely rids them and frees them. But for me, and I don't know about for you, but anxiety really does hit me in seasons and in ways when I'm really struggling in my faith. And so if that's you, I just want to let you know that there's nothing wrong with you. There's this mantra right now in the church that if you don't have enough faith, right? <laughs> if you don't have enough faith, maybe you've heard this before, then that's the problem, right? No, it's not. It's not, it's not true. Don't let the devil bring shame to you because you're feeling discouraged in this because this is extremely extremely difficult. Have grace for yourself because the Lord has grace for you too. And just know that God has the power to heal you. There's a reason why you're in this and he wants to teach you how to run to him. And so I want you guys, I'm going to be leaving a song below that I just think is so powerful. It's a declaration of faith. And this is going to be our challenge this week. You guys, it's so beautiful. It's the song called Jubilee. And actually in this song, it, it the chorus talks about Mark 5, 
where this woman is proclaiming healing. And I want you guys to, to memorize this song. I want you guys to declare this song and sing this song over yourself. Having faith that the Lord has a reason for this anxiety season. Having faith that he can heal it right now. And even if you're still struggling, having faith that he has a purpose for it. Because our God is good. Our God is powerful. And do not let the devil make you feel shame. Do not let him make you feel guilt for experiencing this. Just know that the Lord wants to teach you how to run to him. And so when we are in the presence of the Lord, I talked about this already, we are in absolute peace. And so that's what we need to do. We need to run to Jesus. If there's one thing I pray you get from this series, run to Jesus, run to the Lord. He is your healing. He is your safety net. And don't leave those thoughts inside and think that nobody can, you can't let anybody in. He is our safe place. He is our refuge in time of trouble. And so I just want to pray that over you guys. And I hope that this blessed you guys. And I am going to be continuing these series, but next week we're going to be talking about something that we all definitely struggle with, or at least I think a lot of us do. And it's the topic of mom shame and comparison and insecurity. And so make sure you Stay tuned for that, and I'm going to go ahead and pray for you guys now, and I want you guys to go check out that song. That is the challenge this week. Go check out the song. Declare it in faith this week, every single day. Sing it every single day. Declare it in faith and know that our God is powerful to heal it, and he is in control. Remember that. He is in control. So I'm going to pray for you guys right now. Lord God, I just pray right now, Jesus, God, that every woman right now who is watching this, Jesus, or if it's if there's guys here too, God, I pray, God, that there would be a deep desire, a yearning, a fire under their belt to seek you first in the secret place, to seek you first, God. Lead them into the quiet place with you. Lead them into prayer. Lead them into the word. God, where there is absolute peace and serenity with you, Jesus, you are the answer to all of our life's troubles, God. You are trying to teach us how to run to you in that time, God, and when we run to you, Jesus, can the devil still hit us? Absolutely, Lord God. You, your word says that we are not going to be free from that until we go to heaven. But God, I pray that we would all have a natural ability, a natural inclination, a natural just drive to run to you with our anxiety and our anxious thoughts, God. And I pray, Lord, even now in faith, I declare absolute healing over them, Jesus. I declare right now, I have faith for them that chronic anxiety, any any type of anxiety that people are dealing with right now, I, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And I pray for for your Holy Spirit to fill them right now, wherever they are in their house, God, whatever they're doing, I pray for your spirit to touch them powerfully, God. And would your spirit move in ways that they've never seen before. Holy Spirit, we believe you. We believe you have power. We rebuke the devil over their lives. We rebuke the devil in, from attacking them. And I pray, Jesus, that as they declare this song, Jubilee, over their life in faith, God, that you would just meet them in that place and that their eyes would be open to seeing you, Lord God. God, you're always speaking. You're always speaking, God. But we rarely are listening. And so I pray that our ears would be open to you. And God, every time we are attacked, that this would be our one secret weapon. It would be running to your spirit, running to your presence, and seeking you above everything else the world has to offer. And I pray a blessing over them. And I pray, Jesus, that you would help us grow closer to you in everything we do in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Like I said, you guys, I am doing a new video topic this next Monday, and it's going to be about mom shame, and it's going to be about insecurity. And so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss those videos. And let me know in the comments how I can pray for you. I say this in a lot of my videos, but please DM me on Instagram if you have any personal prayer requests. I would love to pray for you. Make sure you do the challenge, you guys, because it's one thing to hear the word. It's another to do it, right? And so the word of God should be convicting us, and it should be moving us into his presence. And that's what that action is all about that we talked about last week in part two. So I hope you guys have a great day and God bless you.